Hello, and welcome to Test Complete. This video explains how to handle one of the most common errors occurring in tests, the object does not exist error. The video consists of three parts and covers typical reasons for the error to occur and ways to handle it. Why would the object does not exist error occur in the first place? Before simulating a mouse click, keyboard event, or any other action, Test Complete searches for a window or control with which your test is interacting. To find that window or control, Test Complete checks its position in the application object hierarchy and recognition attributes like a class name, caption, and so on. Test Complete stores this data in the name mapping repository of your project. If your tested application differs from what it was during the recording, Test Complete may not be able to find the object using the stored settings. If the self healing run mode is enabled, the test engine will try to find an object similar to the missing one. If such an object is found, Test Complete will use it instead of the missing object to continue the test run. After the test run is over, the test engine will post a warning message informing you about the replacement. The replacement is temporary and is effective only during the current test run. Test Complete does not update the recognition attributes of the missing object automatically to avoid false recognition. Don't ignore that warning. You have to confirm the update manually. We will not delve into self-healing as we have a separate video on it. You can find the link in this video's description. Instead, we will discuss what will happen if the self-healing fails or it is disabled. In this case, Test Complete will report the object does not exist error. What kind of changes in your tested application can cause this? If the object's properties have been changed, Test Complete will fail to find the object. Typically, such situations are self-healed. If the self-healing mode is disabled, or if you are facing a complicated test case, Test Complete will report the error. This happens, for example, if the object's position in the hierarchy changed, or if the tested object has been moved to another level of the object hierarchy. It's also possible that the object was removed from your tested application, or that it takes too long for your tested application to show that object. In the next part of this video, we will focus on the most typical cases of this error occurring in tests and explain how to handle the error in each of them. Once again, we will not describe the cases that can be self-healed. You can find that link to the separate video in this video description. To learn about the cases that you can fix manually, please watch the next part of this video.